Hi guys, it's Alicia. Welcome to the channel if you're new and if you are a faithful friend, you're more than a subscriber. If you're a faithful friend, welcome home. So you guys, I'm excited because today is a day where I can start working on some of the projects for my moody bedroom makeover. And I'm gonna start with furniture pieces. My hair is a mess. I'm gonna start with furniture pieces and today I'm going to be working on um, the nightstands for the room. Now, you guys, if you watch the video from last week, you see that one of my um, inspirations for the room is for the bed to be darker. I've painted it white and loved it like that. But now for this room, I want a complete do over and I want a rich, dark, chocolatey bed. And I wanted nightstands as well, but I want the bed and the nightstands to match. And I love my bed, I don't wanna get rid of it. So in order to have nightstands that match, I needed to find some nightstands that I could do a DIY makeover project on them, like I'm gonna do the bed, that way it all works together and um, it's cohesive. Um, so I went searching, I searched for weeks and weeks because I, I wanted large nightstands. I wanted the bachelor chest type nightstands and I would find, find one and not another one. I need two or I would find um, two and message the person on Facebook Marketplace and they were already sold. And um, it went like that for weeks. I even went online and got desperate looking, entertaining the idea that maybe um, I didn't need for them to match the bed, but I know the look I'm going for. I just, I really do. I'll insert a picture here just to show you again. Hi, Louie. Just to show you again the look that I'm going for. Hey, buddy. The look that I'm going for. And it's just what I wanted, and so I needed to find these pieces. So I did. I found two pieces. Now, you guys, when I show you these, they are an absolute hot mess. I don't know what somebody was doing to them. When I first looked at it, I thought, has this house been in a fire? <laughs> These nightstands look like they have been burned. <laughs> but I think it was just a really bad paint job. And so I have plans to redo it. So anyway, let me take you out and show so them So guys, to here you. they are. They are in a mess. I mean, let me take you around the other side. I mean, somebody really did a really, really bad paint job on these. Um, now the overall look of them, they are exactly, I mean, they're the height that I need. They're the width that I need. I really needed the drawers because I'm just the drawer, all of the drawers, they slide really good. There's no problem with that. Um, and everything. So my plan is to take it from this hideous look to something that looks really rich and beautiful. I'm gonna, I've already ordered hardware that I'm gonna be replacing this hardware on it. I'm going to use my Reticket. I have just a little bit left, so I'll use what I can use and then I have to order more than I will if I need to refinish this project. And then of course you guys know I love this, the Kona stain. So I'm gonna do that. So, but the first thing I need to do is just kind of Usually with Retique you don't have to do any sanding or anything, but with these, I really need, I need to sand these down some because it's just, it's so much going on with the piece. I need to sand it down some. I need to then wash it down some, take the knobs off, and then go in with my Retique and see how far I get with what I have left of that and then order some more and, and finish it up as it comes. So I'm hoping, you know, that I have enough that I can, you know, try and get this done for the video to upload for you guys for tomorrow, but we'll see. So anyways, let's get started on getting these cleaned up a little bit and getting them ready for me to, to do what I need to do. So guys, I know it looks like I'm going super fast, but trust me, I was going so gingerly while I was doing this and so slow. So thank God for time lapse.
guys, so I have everything sanded down and you can see where this looks like it used to be white. Um, you guys, I was sanding this not to um, like try to get it to a wood finish because this is not um, real wood. This is mostly particle board. So if I sand this down, it's just, it's particle board. So that's not necessarily, really the only thing you can do with this furniture is to paint or refinish it. And so that's what, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go in now, wipe it all down, clean it all up, and then I'll go in with my reticket, what I have left, fingers crossed, but I'm gonna make this work. So let's get started on cleaning it up and then trying to get some reticket on it so I can get it stained. Okay guys, I got all the pieces done. I usually do three coats, but I did good to do two and a half. <laughs> so I have them all done and I will let them completely dry. And then I will come in with the stain and hopefully we will begin to see these transform. I have hope. I know, I know my work and I know what I can what I can do so I'm hoping with the help of the Lord and I know he's gonna help me these are gonna transform and they are not they already look different than <laughs> than how they looked when I first showed them to you guys but I have faith that they are going to transform even the more so let's let these dry and then I'll come back and we will do the stain right, so all my pieces are dry and I'm gonna go in now with my Kona um, stain by Verathane and you guys I have used it so much that you can't even <laughs> I'll try and remember to put a picture of it in the um in here somewhere for you um, but yeah it's Verathane and it is the color Kona and I absolutely love it it's so that color is so rich and then I'm just using these cloth like rags that my husband uses to detail the cars they are perfect for staining um, and so I'm going to just use some of those to get it on and you're going to see the beauty and the magic of, um, well, I mean, it's, it's not magic. It's just God blessing me to be able to stain. These pieces are getting ready to completely transform. So I'm going to let you watch. <laughs> so all of the pieces are done so I'm gonna give this stain a chance to really dry um, really good 
and then we will add the hardware. So let me take you guys in and show you the hardware that I got for this piece. Okay, but it's looking really, really So guys, I did wanna say um, that this is the hardware that I chose. Um, I love this piece because it looks, it has that vintage look to it. Um, I did choose um, a piece with a back plate to it. Um, just because one, I like the look, and two, if you remember, there's there was quite a large hole in the pieces from the um, pulls that were on it before, and this will help to cover that up uh, as well. So it's kind of like double duty. And then I love the knobs here for it. And I think I'm okay with the finish. I thought about putting some rubbing buff on it, but I kind of want to not want it to be like pow like gold I, I really want it to be more of a kind of a muted tone that complements with the look of gold but not a bright bright shiny gold so I think I'm okay with it so I got those but before I put those on I do I will be either doing a polycrylic or I will be doing um, a wax over it just to keep the surface of it from being from getting scratched and just to protect it so I'm going to decide whether to do a polycrylic or the wax and um, and put that on there. And so I also want to insert for you a clip here that shows you uh, another inspiration for um, what, I, what I'm going for. Okay, guys, so I've added the polycrylic to the piece and now I'm ready to add all of my hardware and then I will give you a guys a look at how it turns out. So I have all of the hardware, everything is completely done, and I'm excited to show you the finished product. But before I show you the finished product, I wanna take you back and let you see what we started out with. So guys, this is what the pieces looked like when I picked them up from Facebook Marketplace. They were an absolute hot mess. <laughs> but as I always say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. With a little bit of vision, I was able to see that I could take these hideous looking um, bachelor dressers and turn them into a masterpiece and exactly what I'm looking for for my room. And guys, this is the finished product of what we ended up with. <music> you enjoyed watching the transformation of these bachelor chest uh, into something absolutely magnificent you guys if you're new I would love it if you would subscribe and you guys don't forget to like comment and share the video it really helps and don't forget to enjoy all the little things it's the little things that give us the sweetest prettiest little pleasures until next week guys bye bye mm -hmm.